right, hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is the second half of a video I did about how, or I should say where I buy my Bitcoin. And I will put that link in the uh, description box and you can watch that. Um, it's just one of the places. There are a myriad of um, exchanges that you can purchase from. A lot of it will also depend on the state and country that you're living in. So check that video out. Uh, right now I want to talk about where you want to store your Bitcoin. <clears throat> and for online, there's all different kinds of what we call wallets. There's offline wallets like hardwares that look similar to, um, they look similar to USB ports, uh, USB, what do you call those things? Those little things. I can't, for some reason, I can't think of the name. But um, you, can you can secure your Bitcoin there, especially if you have large sums. You can put them on your phone. They have wallets that are just prim primarily for your phone as well. But right now I'm just going to talk about this one particular wallet called blockchain.com. This is where I am putting some of my Bitcoin. And usually I just put it because it, I'm, as I am in transit to put my Bitcoin into USI Tech. This is where I mainly put the majority of my Bitcoin because that's where I get my Bitcoin multiplied and um, working for me, compounding interest and things of that nature. But a wallet is like a savings account um, for your Bitcoin, okay? So all you're gonna do is go to this site and you're just gonna click get a free wallet. And all you need to do create an email um, and your password and make sure you put that password somewhere where you don't forget it because it's crazy trying to recover it because they don't send it to you like regular um, types of situations like these. So you're just gonna fill that out and you're gonna end up on a page that looks like this. This is gonna be the home page. This is your dashboard. It's gonna show your balances. You can also hold Ethereum uh, here as well. At some point, they're gonna have an exchange where you can buy, but I don't believe that's activated yet. So, so you're going to see, this is where you're going to store your Bitcoin. And the one thing that I want you to do first, right after you sign up is go to the security center and you are going to fill out every one of these levels because you want to make sure that your Bitcoin is secure from hackers or someone that tries to steal your account. That is, we are still in the gold rush days, uh, the wild, wild west of Bitcoin. People want Bitcoin. So they're trying to take it. Um, so go ahead and go through each level, uh, verify your email, cor uh, collect your keys. They call them keys. Uh, there are a series of uh, phrases that are to back up your system. A hint that's stored on the second level, you're going to link it to your, your phone, your mobile phone. Um, on the second step from there, you're going to um, in initiate Google uh, authorization. And then the third level is to stop uh, the tour websites. Those are actually like the dark web people that can't be seen that try to hack your uh, website. So you wanna make sure that that's blocked. All right, and so th that's the very next thing you need to do once you set up your account. Now I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. <clears throat> In order to request, um, first of all, I'm gonna say once you get your Bitcoin in here, you're gonna hit send if you wanna send it somewhere. And for me, if I'm sending it, if you're uh, on my team and you're in USI Tech, you're going to grab the USI Tech wallet address um, and you're gonna paste it in here and the amount and that'll be, um, I'll show you how to do all that in another separate video for our team. Um, when you want to receive, basically you're gonna request and I'm not gonna hit the request button because it's got my private, um, my private URL. But basically, you're going to go, when you hit request, you're going to go to CoinMama where you bought your um, where you bought your Bitcoin and it's going to have a wallet address that you want to um, give, you want to give your blockchain address from your request screen and you want to put that in your CoinMama address when you're sending, okay? So this sending from CoinMama to receive, it, you're going to hit the request and you're going to get the information to give the amount that you're going to be um, requesting and the actual address. Actually, not the amount. That's going to be handled by your coin mama. And then um, just paste the uh, address that's in here into your coin mama account. Okay. That's about all I can say with that. Uh, only because you know you got to keep this stuff. People can people can get your 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 stuff, guys. <laughs> 
All right. So anyways, I hope that's basically it. I hope that was enough information for you. To me, the most important thing is use that security, get all your stuff secured, securified for your account, and then you can start using it and storing your Bitcoin or your, and or your Ethereum safely. All right. So that's it. I will see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.